Hello everybody, this is Mr. Porkchop Boy here, and as you can see I have here my matte orange Zippo, and it does need some Zippo fluid. It will not light. So, today I'm going to be teaching you how to properly fill up your Zippo um, with, uh, of course, Zippo fluid. Zippo does say that if you want best results, use Zippo fluid, but you can also use Ronson fluid, because Ronson is actually owned by Zippo. When you buy a Zippo can of lighter fluid, you are actually paying for the name Zippo because Zippo is a popular brand. Um, now as you can see, this Zippo is completely dry. There is nothing else in this Zippo. Okay, so now I'm going to be teaching you how to properly insert the Zippo fluid into your Zippo. First thing you want to do is you want to take your Zippo insert out of your Zippo casing, obviously, because that's the only way you can fill it up. And to take you take your case of your Zippo and you put right here on the Zippo uh, fluid, um, on the can of the Zippo fluid, and you push, and then you pull up the little nozzle. That's like the easiest way to take this out. Obviously because this is childproof and they don't want little kids touching letter fluid. So now after you have your Zippo insert out and you have the nozzle of the Zippo can fluid, up, you want to grab your Zippo, flip up the cam so that it's touching the chimney, and you want to flip your Zippo upside down and then drop it into your case again. So it will be like this, like your Zippo is in there but it's upside down. So now you have the bottom of your Zippo on the top so that you can stand it up alone and you don't have to sit there worrying about holding it like outside of the casing like this. You just put it there, put it down like this and any Zippo fluid that happens to go through and come out your chimney will stay in your casing so it's no big deal. Pull that up and then you just want to hold it up like this and then you want to grab your Zippo can of fluid or Ronson whatever you're using and you just want to drip it in there and you want to squeeze for about five seconds one two three four five so now you just want to let it sit for about five seconds and then you just want to do it again so you just have to pull this back grab your Zippo can of fluid and then one two three four five okay so now you just have to press this down a little bit okay so now you take out your Zippo insert Try not to play with it too much, just flip it around, stick it back into your Zippo insert. Make sure when you stick it in that the cam of your Zippo, this little piece of metal that you flipped up before, is on the left side so that it can go into the Zippo top part. And your um, spark wheel is on your right side, because if not your Zippo obviously won't work. And I just give it a few seconds just to make sure that the rayon balls are all soaked up with the Zippo fluid. So as you can see, Zippo works perfectly fine now, and that is the best way to fill up your Zippo. It is about 10 seconds um, when you put your Zippo fluid in. It's 5 seconds, then you give it a little break, then 5 more seconds. If this video helped you out, please give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. If you would like to subscribe to me, you can press right here, and that will take you to a separate page where you can do that. And if you would like to follow me on Twitter, this is how you spell my Twitter name, it is Mr. Porkchop Boy just like on YouTube, and if you want to see the unboxing of either this black crackle Zippo or this matte white Zippo, you can press on either Zippo and it will take you to a separate page where you can watch the unboxing of that. Thank you very much and have a great day.